Hello. Good afternoon. Okay, so on to part two of uh, paper bead making. Ooh, my thing says I need to go walking, but I'm in the middle of doing something. Oh, need to hit hit recall. All right, ten more minutes on the timer, and I'm going to. Oh, I started up there, so that means I need to or finished up there, so I need to work up here whoops so it's kind of been a busy week i probably will not get any um crafting type videos done this weekend my daughter is going to be in our local parade uh promoting her um dance company uh so that'll be fun and i keep asking if they need any you know like, cause it's all, the, the dance company is non-profit. So, um, um, you know, the, the people, the parents have to pay for things. And I keep asking if, if I was supposed to bring candy, you know, like a bag of candy so that, you know, if every parent in the company bought a bag of candy, they would have enough candy to pass out at the parade because, Let's be honest, kids like going to the parades for the candy. They don't, it's like, it's like in the summertime, it's like second Halloween. <laughs> uh, I like going because you get all these little free things, but <laughs> I also just like parades. I just, in general, I like going to parades. I've never been to our local parade, my town here in Minnesota. I've never really, uh, gone to our parade. I've gone to my parents' smaller town parade. Um, I didn't last year because my dad and I are st still fighting. It's mostly him, that is. Uh, I've already resolved the issues with my, my uh, older brother, but my dad is still playing the silent treatment, and I just don't got time for that. I don't need... I don't need somebody to act like a teenager around me when I've already got teenagers of my own that act that way. So, uh, but anyway, uh, we usually go to their parade, you know, that, that their small town. And what I mean by like small town, I mean, they only have like 30,000 people or 30, uh, 3000 people or something like that. And I've never been to this parade. So I assume it'll be just as fun. I like getting the, like chip clips and magnets, and sometimes they pass out pencils. Um, my daughter will be passing out magnets. Um, all the kids will, all the kids that are participating in the, it's not, I think it's voluntary if you want to be a part of, I mean, the, I don't think the dance company is forcing you to uh, participate in the parade uh, promotion but they would like you to because you know the more you know more kids that participate it looks like more you know the kids in the in the uh company care more you know if, if that makes any sense uh you know i have been watching other people's youtube and they got these paper cutters i have never seen anybody else's fiskers paper trimmer look like mine so like i said this paper trimmer is at least i've had it since Oh, I want to say my kids were one and two, so early 2000s is when I got this. Um, I think even my first blade here was blue. So I remember when I uh, went looking for replacements for it, because I only, I didn't do any um, crafting as much back then. What I bought, what my husband bought this for was because I was making photos, um, Photo collages, you know, they those big picture frames. I don't know if people do them anymore, but I bought, I did one for each of my kids when they're, um, and I got a collection of their one birthed one year old pictures, and I put them in a, a photo collage, and it's just like a big photo or a big framed um, thing, and it's got like circles, and you know, you put put pictures behind each thing. You know what I'm talking about. But anyway. I bought, or my husband bought that because he knows I don't cut, I can't cut a straight line to save my life with a pair of scissors. I just, it is just something I cannot do. So anyway, that's what I used to use this for only was, 
uh, photo trimming or like when the kids and then I really re started using it for photos when the kids started going to elementary um, and you know started having photo pictures taken because when they were not in elementary we'd go to pro -X at, at our local mall and their picture when when we'd get their packages when we'd get the pictures back they already came pre-cut so i didn't have to worry about you know having to cut um my photos like i had to at the school but anyway you know it was blue and by that point i think they must have switched over to orange as their primary color for fiskers so it's like, I had no idea. I was like, what do I get? <laughs> so I don't ever see anybody's, and you know, for the longest time, I didn't even know there was a thing that pops out here. I don't like it much because it's hard to figure out, well, where does five end? So I always have to guess if five ends, okay, so you got quarter, half, in, or quarter, half inch, inch. So then where does, in, where does five end? So I guess five ends right there, but I mean, that's kind of the downside of using this is it's it's hard to to measure anything that's five inches because uh, my five is not very well uh, defined because six is fine and it's you know very stable and stuff. It just you know I didn't even know that was back there for the longest time. So <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, I hope I'm back in the camera. Let's see her hair. Well, you're not missing much if uh if part of this isn't, you'll 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 still get it. I won't know until I get to uh the editing part of this. Oh my goodness. I'm having issues today. I'm having a hot flash, so uh my glasses are kind of fogging up. It's kind of embarrassing. I will be happy when menopause is perimenopause or whatever is done. <laughs> and it's kind of embarrassing because a lot of people my age, I'm just turned 40, so and I've been having I've been in perimenopause for 3 years now, so I kind of started young, which sucks because well, I'm definitely not having any more children. I guess is what mother nature is trying to tell me, which is fine. Uh, I don't really like, I don't, I'm not a big fan of age, big, huge age gaps between, between children. Uh, it's just not me, you know, I don't, I don't, that's not how I wanted my kids to, you know, I don't, I don't want to have a kid while my 20 year old is going to college and, oh, hey, you got a baby sister, but you're 20. No, I, I, I don't agree with families like that, but that's just me. I mean, if you're a part of a family like that, that's fine. I just prefer not to have my family like that. So, I know, it's fucking weird of me, but that's just my preference. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get a new blade pretty soon. I'll probably do it here after um, this paper's done. What are we at for time? two minutes uh but anyway yeah i've never seen anybody else's paper oh wasn't ready for that yet wasn't i'm not i've never seen anybody else's paper trimmer look like mine uh so i don't know i can't even find pictures of anybody's paper trimmer who looks like mine so <laughs> i don't know like I said, I've had this thing for a very long time and I only used to use it for just photos and stuff because I wasn't really big into doing any type of crafting. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be trying my hand at making a, a paper album this summer here when we go to my in-laws house. Uh, I probably will not be doing any videoing of that because they do not have very good internet because it is a farm. And I don't know. I'm also being told that I can't go into town to do any walking on, you know, their bike trails and stuff because, well, they're on a farm, so I should be able to just walk on a, uh, down corn rolls and stuff. And it's like, really? Do you have any idea how boring that is? 
to go walking for 40 minutes, just up and down corn rows and ew, the bugs, but guess I gotta do what I gotta do if I wanna, okay, how am I so far off on my measuring here? <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'll just measure twice this way or not. <laughs> so you did a whole video of just me cutting paper. Hooray! Okay, so I guess I will finish this and then I will start rolling in in uh, three. So, okay, I will see you for part three. Bye!